I was so in love. I was so in love. And now when I look back, I choose to call my love the blood moon love. Do you know what blood moon is? Blood moon is a sign of the beginning of the end times. The book of Joel first stated that the sun will turn into darkness and moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord comes. And I say, I was in love. And I say, my love was blood moon love. Because I knew I had to leave you the day I first fell for you. And I was okay with it. I knew it was conditional love, but love nonetheless. We were like any other lovers, but with limited supply of time. I was mad about him, but I knew he wasn't destined to be mine. So we lived each moment to the fullest. Because I feared his each touch could be the last. And one day just like that, the beginning of our end came. And the time yet again played its favorite game. My lover reminded me that our end was here and left. I saw him leave. I saw the stars hiding behind the sky that night. I saw the leaves trembling that night. I saw the moon slowly drenching in blood as if they all felt my pain. I felt as if the moon knew loving someone so much only to hand them over one day was not easy. I saw him leave. I saw a part of me leave. And I wished him nothing but love. I wished him nothing but happiness. I wished that the woman he met loved him as much as I ever did, or maybe even more, if that was at all even possible. But while the moon was curling me that night, I felt a pause. I felt the inabilities of my arteries to deliver blood. How come he was able to leave without a shred of tear? How come he was able to leave without a hint of scar while I laid drenched in blood with the wound I was unable to repair? Don't get me wrong. I knew it was blood moon love and I was okay with it ending even if it meant me getting wrecked but wasn't he supposed to walk away with few scars too? Why does it feel like he slipped from my arms to someone else's without even flinching? Why does it feel like I am the only one losing? Why does it feel like it wasn't the beginning of our end but rather our end was his beginning? I looked at the moon resonating with my fear. How could I still love someone who left without showing an ounce of terror? Was I that blind? Was I that stupid? Was I overthinking and maybe, just maybe, even he was somewhere bleeding? He had told me over and over that this blood moon love of ours would break him too. I do not want him to break. But was he at all even cracking? Or did he just hide like the stars behind the sky that night and made a deal with time to slip through the cracks and let his next lover's gravity pull him away from me? I looked at the moon one last time. Absolute silence. It did not have any answer for me and so when the blood dried, it hid behind earth. I guess I will never know. I guess when the time came, there was no love left in my blood moon love. I guess I do not want to know. Because the truth may just break the pieces left in me, because the truth may just defeat the ounce of love left in me. And honestly, I do not want that to happen. I want to believe that I can love to that extent. I want to believe that my conditional love was love nonetheless till its dying breath. And you know what they say, when you love in something like this so strongly for so long, it eventually becomes your truth. So I will let the universe dance a little. I will let the cosmos play its games. I will let my blood dry and heal my wounds. I will do it all and more because I'm still a believer that my love, not his love, not our love, but my love, however conditional, still one. Thank you.